Hi guys, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I'd like to say welcome. And if you've watched some of my other videos before, I'd like to say welcome back. So today, I thought I'd give you a quick update and talk about water propagation on Porch Lacaria afros. So this is a cutting that I took off of a larger cutting that I uh, styled for the first time about a month ago, a little less than a month ago, actually. And I made a video on that initial styling, and I'll link that in this video. So, like I said, about a month ago, I took this cutting off of that and dropped it in this vase full of water. Let me take it out so you can see the roots on it. So this is growth... Um, from less than four weeks ago. So as you can see, they grow very fast. They root very fast. If the temperature and lighting's right, um, in my case, I have them sitting on the top shelf of one of my uh, grow shelves. And, you know, with the heat from the lamps, the grow lights, it rises. So the top, top shelf is the warmest. Um, area for my trees. So I put, when I try to root these, I put them on the top shelf and the temperature is probably around 75 degrees Fahrenheit, maybe a little bit warmer than that. And I find that that's the magic temperature to, to make these root. I've tried to root some just in normal indoor air, which is around 68 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And it takes them forever to root if they even do. So just that, you know, five to 10 degree temperature difference really causes the, the roots to pop and, and grow fast. So, like I said, this is, you know, these are probably the three or four inches long and less than, less than a month. So you can quickly have a new tree. So just wanted to talk about that. And today we're going to go ahead and pot this, this cutting up. So what I'm using today is this little plastic grow pot. It's got nice aeration holes in the bottom. Um, so we'll lay that down for a minute and put some soil in here. And these holes are small enough to where I don't need to put any screen in the bottom of it because the soil I use, the particles are bigger than that. You might lose a few in the bottom, but the soil I'm using is just Akadama and black lava. You can see some of the fines are are falling through the bottom, which isn't a big deal. I'll fill this up about, about a third of the way. And we'll pot this up. I like to spread the roots out a little bit, try to get them in a as much of a radial pattern as I can just to start them off on the right foot. So you don't have to do some root correction in the future as they as they start growing. So I'll spread them out the best I can. It doesn't have to be perfect, but like I said, the better better shape they're in when they're young like this, the easier they are when they get older. So I'll sit that down in here. And as you can see, they're, they're kind of spread out. You can see that, but what they are, they're just kind of spread out in a radial pattern. When I'm planting these cuttings, I, I like to plant them a little bit deeper than I normally would on a typical repot, just to help to make sure the roots are covered for one and just to help the stability of the, of the tree because they tend to fall over because they're usually top heavy um, with all the growth and there's not a lot of roots. The roots are pretty young to really support the tree. So I just pack it in with my fingers at this point. Don't really need to use the chopstick just because the roots aren't that dense. Um, if the roots were dent, a little more dense, you would use the chopstick. 
and, and poke down in there just to make sure the soil gets around all the roots and eliminates any air pockets. But since the roots are so small and young, you don't really need to do that. So I think, uh, I don't think we'll do any trimming on this, this guy today. We'll just let it get established, um, without giving, you know, adding any more stress to it, let that get established. And once I start seeing that, you know, there's some new growth here, just since it's, you know, been in the water, but, um, once I start seeing new growth, then I might go in and, you know, trim off some of the branches, you know, where we've got some of the bar branches here where they're right across from each other, I'll start trimming some of those off, make some branch selection and kind of get it on its way to being a, a bonsai tree. So um, nice short video today. Uh, that's all, that's all we're going to do to this one. So I just thought I'd, like I said, give you an update and talk a little bit about water propagation and how easy it is. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.